welcome to the second part on how to paint an Iron Warrior Chaos Space Marine. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to use another oil wash, this time with burnt umber. And I'm going to start uh, painting all over the, the gold areas, trying to pin wash all of the details. And that's it. Just uh, thin down your oil paint to a wash consistency and apply it all over it, the, the details that you want to obscure with the wash. I'm not using uh, Devlin Mud to obscure these areas because Devlin Mud and any other sort of wash will uh, dull down the effect of the uh, liquid gold that I like to keep. Oil washes run through the crevices and you can clean them up if you want, but since I'm just pin washing that's alright. I'm going to use corn red now to paint the uh, hair on the top of the miniature, or whatever this is. And also I'm going to use it to base coat the uh, lenses of the eyes. Just I'm using a base coat brush to base coat the uh, hair, and then I'm going to use uh, detail brush to base coat the eyes. Next I'm going to use Wastaka red and I'm going to give it a first highlight to the hair parts and the eyes. For the hair part I'm going to uh, just use the side of the brush. Try not to get to get your paintbrush very loaded with paint so it doesn't run down to the crevices. Use the side of the brush and highlight the individual hairs as so. And for the eyes, try to base coat the front half of the lens with the same color and your finest brush. Next step, I'm going to use Wild Rider Red and I'm going to give a final highlight to the hair parts as the same as, this, as the uh, last step, but this time use it on the uh, most raised areas or the uh, edge areas of the hairs. And then on the lenses, I'm going to use it just in the front part. The second highlight was about 50% of the lens now is the 25% or less from the front part. Next I'm going to use white scar and I'm going to paint a dot of white on the very back part of the lens to give a reflection of light. I didn't uh, manage to do it correctly on this video but <laughs> I cleaned it up uh, off camera. Now I'm going to use Everland Sunset and I'm going to paint on the uh, bolter that I already uh, base coated uh, and painted the same as I did the body and I'm going to give it a base coat of yellow over the case of the bolter. Just try to be uh, careful with a fine brush and give it a couple of coats of paint so that the uh, color covers well. I actually use two layers of paint, let them dry after each one and um, yeah that's it now I'm using the uh, black Abaddon black to paint stripes on the on the uh, bolter case I'm not really precise with uh, this step I'm not really good at uh, freehanding I've never tried it before actually this is my first time and I'm tr just drying stripes black over the case and next I'm going to use the aerial yellow and a fine brush to highlight the yellow parts as close as I can just uh, draw, drawing uh, lines on the edges of the yellow parts just to make it pop a little bit. If you have any cleanup to do you can use Abaddon Black again or just try not to mess up with Abaddon Black the yellow parts because it'll be very hard. Now that the miniature is done, I'm going to use Codex Gray 
and I'm going to give it a mesh highlight on the black parts. I was uh, forgetting this step, and that's why it's already uh, being based and the uh, decal is almost uh, dry. Just try to use a fine brush and uh, drawing the contour of the uh, shoulder pad as you can see right now when I'm doing it. And if you mess up you can always clean up with Abaddon Black uh, if the stripe went too thick. This actually happened to me and it happens all the time. Just uh, try to clean clean up your mistakes with Abaddon Black after you your, your gray paint is uh, dry. And now this is my finished model. I have to say I really like this uh, Iron Warrior uh, Legion very much. And uh, I really find this a uh, very attractive miniature and very easy to paint. If you're trying to paint an easy army with uh, chaos, maybe this is the way to go. I think so, because it's not really hard to do. And I really recommend it. Here are some of the still pictures so that you can see the miniature. Now I'd like to thank my subscribers and the people who leave comments and likes. Uh, it really helps out a lot. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll keep uh, doing videos for you guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you later.